Hey everybody, it's me Dusty. I wanted to um, record this call for you guys today talking on some specific items that I think are really important but only valid for those that are growing a Plexus team. So this is why I'm posting this here today. And um, today, the subject I'm going to speak on is not something that's exceptionally fun, but I believe that it is knowledge that we all need. Today, I'm going to be talking about attrition and steady growth and um, normal ret retention rates from what I'm seeing and finding from other network marketers. And um, again, like I said, this is something very important for us to all know about and understand so that we can relay it to some of our teams as they start to go through it and um, so that people understand that it is a normal thing. So let's start by talking about what is attrition. Well, really what attrition is is where you lose some of your team members because we all know for the strangest reason people quit. Um, some we would like for everybody that signs on in our organizations to always stay, right? That is the definite goal. However, some people just leave for one reason or another, and this is what's called attrition. A lot of times when we're first in the business, everything's fantastic and we're so excited and people are jumping on and they're joining and they're going strong and um, nobody knows what a white line in their back office is or anything like that. But usually around the 18-month mark, the two-year mark, is where we see our biggest set of attrition come in. And that's pretty normal. Does it mean it's going to happen to you at 18 months or two years? No, it doesn't. But on average, most people see a good amount of attrition happen around those periods of time as they're growing in their business. Because a lot of people will give the business a year or two years and maybe they say, you know, they quit because they say their business isn't growing, but usually it's because they're not working their business, right? But anyway, so we're, we're talking about attrition. This is normal. This, is hap this happens. Um, so I just don't want you to be shocked if for some reason, you know, all these months your points are gaining, 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 and then all of a sudden they start to roll back a little bit. I want you to understand this is normal. But I want to talk to you today about how to keep going forward so that you don't have heavy attrition. Um, you always need to be continually adding more ambassadors into your organization than you have going out. Network marketing is kind of like a bathtub in a sense that has a leaky plug. You know, we turn the bathtub on and the water is coming in steadily, but if the plug isn't tight, the water is seeping out, right? So, yes, we're pouring in, but there's stuff going out. So you got to make sure that in your organization, you're adding more team members in than are leaving. What happens when you're not adding more team members in than are leaving is when heavy attrition hits and you might lose 50 points one month, depending upon how big your organization is, you could lose five people one month if your organization is a little bit smaller. Or if you were like me, one month I lost like 200 points. I was like, oh my gosh, what happened here? That's a lot of points for me to roll back. And that's when I started understanding what attrition was and, and what was going on in my organization. Most people want to know, how do you get the steady growth to keep coming in? Well, that comes from us developing leaders within our organizations. So I, there's no way I could be the leader of an organization of 3,000 people. I am a leader in the organization, but I'm one of many. So this is so important that when you're growing your organization, you teach people that are growing teams to become leaders to help maintain um, strong organizations. Um, those strong leaders will help you keep from having high attrition because each leader will create a group stu structure in their organization. So um, people often want to know, what's an average retention rate? Well, I'm going to give you just a few examples, and this doesn't mean this is what's going to happen exactly in your organization. It all depends on your leadership skills and the people underneath you that have leadership skills and so on and so forth. So these are just examples, things that I've asked other network marketing people about, not just in our Plexus business, but in other organizations and out of many, many network marketing books. 
So a normal retention rate, which means the people that will stay that aren't leaving, you know, the attrition, the people that are staying, the retention people, is if you have, each one of us has different legs, right? So in one leg, let's just take, we're looking at one of your structured legs. What is a normal retention rate for one of your legs? Well, it's going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 to 60% is a good normal retention rate. So that means out of, uh, if you have one leg that's 100%, doesn't have anybody that has left in it, uh, probably after two years of time, you're going to have between 40 and 60% of those people in that leg left. And that's normal. That's a good retention rate. Yes, there was some attrition in the leg, as I'm trying to explain to you about, but a normal a retention rate is between 40 and 60%. So I don't want you to think that if you look at a line, you're like, I've only got 40% of my people left. That's pretty normal. If you look at it and say, I got 50 or 60% of my people left, that's awesome. That's the higher end of the normal range. So that's outstanding. It means probably in that leg, you have some good leaders in it. That is a very good thing, and this leads me back to why you want to create good leaders in your organization to help keep that retention rate good so that the attrition isn't so bad. Um, so um, let's talk about what's going to happen over the years as you go through with your um, Plexus business or any network marketing business for that matter. In book after book after a book that I read, they say if you have, let's say, eight legs that you have built in a two-year span, you're probably going to have two really good legs that get it out of those eight. Those other little ones, they're, they're growing and they're trying and they're, they're doing everything they can. But some of those legs might disappear. Just know that this is just network marketing. And this is why we want to continue to um, develop leaders in our organization. Um, so forgive me, my computer's dying here, so I have to plug it in. So forgive me for that little issue right there. Um, so I just want you to understand that this is why we ourselves always have to continually be sponsoring people into the business. Why is that? Because we always want to be having new legs start to grow. Because after so many years, if I have two really strong, good legs that are still hanging in there, and then my few other ones that are just, you know, hanging out over here, um, I want to get another one and another one and another one started growing so I can get two more really good legs that I've got started because some of the others might attrition out over the year's time. This is why we always say continually sponsor into the business. What would happen if I never continually sponsored people into the business? Yes, I still have my really two good legs and some others out here over here, but I need to continue to grow. So I need to sponsor in and say, say we're just going to use the number eight. I'm going to find eight more people, get them all rolling so that I can find two more really good legs to fall into place. Does that make sense as I'm talking to you guys here? I hope it does. So you always want to continue to sponsor, but you need to um, relay this in a positive way as people start to ask you about what attrition is. If somebody contacts you in your organization, they say, you know what, my team's starting to drop off. Some of the things that you can do with them is say, okay, let's see what we can do. Um, what is going on in your organization so that our retention rate is going? What are some of the things that we can do? Can we do more three-way calls? Can we do more welcome calls and get people off to better starts? Um, where is the leadership in the organization to help keep this retention rate and the education going? This is, again, why think questions you can ask your leaders to help them understand what they need to be doing in their organization to help keep this um, attrition from being really high. If you have a leg that um, builds really fast, but then it also starts to shrink really fast, then you understand that there was probably not any leadership beside yourself that was trying to control that leg. But if you have 10 legs, there's no way that you, you yourself can keep all 10 growing. 
this comes in to leadership. Get it, guys? And that's what helps us keep um, that retention rate up and that re attrition rate down. So, but I know this wasn't a very fun subject to talk on today, but I just want you to understand what attrition is and that it does happen. And so it is a, a topic that you need to know some information about so that you're able to help your team and yourself when um, attrition does hit in your organization. Some of you are going to watch this video and go, this has nothing to do with me. I'm not even there yet. That's fine. Awesome. Don't think too much about it. You got a little poured into you. You know what it is. You're going to create leadership in your organization. You're going to continually grow and sponsor people into your business. Just know that attrition does happen to everybody at some point. So we have to just remember about attrition being like the bathtub. We want to continually sponsor more in that are going, than are leaving out of the organization. So try to plug that, um, that, uh, plug in that bathtub as tight as you can by creating as many leaders in your organization that will branch off and hold their teams together and do fun structured things with them and educate them and bond with them most importantly to help keep you growing. So um, I hope you learned something here about uh, attrition rate and what is a normal attrition rate. Um, again, 40 to 60% after a two year period of time in each leg. If you hit two years and you have more than that, you're doing an outstanding job and I commend you for that. So um, if you have any questions um, about attrition and um, or leadership in your organization or what you can do in your individual leg to help keep you growing so strong, please let me know. I'd love to help get you a game plan or get with your nearest leader and help get them, help them get you a good game plan to keep from having high, heavy attrition rates. Step up, be that leader that your team needs and know what attrition is and know that you can do things to help slow it down or keep the rates from being very high. Um, so again, if you want more information on attrition and what's normal, there are lots of great books out there. There's lots of great videos that you can watch online to help you get a little more information. But again, I hope that this um, quick um, gold and above educational moment here was very helpful for you guys today. So um, be blessed and we will be talking to you next month.